I've almost completed my camera stabilizer cage and decided to test it out. Once I'm satisfied with the design, I'll paint it black. Modern, small video cameras are nearly impossible to keep steady when handheld. It's bad enough if the photographer isn't moving, but when the photographer moves, it becomes unbearable. In this sample video, we see output from a flip micro camera that is handheld without a stabilizer. The ground beneath my feet is rutted and difficult to walk on, and I'm also wearing sandals, which have no ankle support. These conditions make for shaky footage. The resulting video is almost unwatchable. This design has been around for a while and is derived from things like the Coen Brothers' Beam Cam and Mike Figgis' Fig Rig. The Frugal Filmmaker blog's $5 stabilizer was my starting point, but as I built the cage I realized that it was capable of additional configurations. The Frugal design uses a T-fitting and inside plug for the camera mount. I realized that by substituting a cross-fitting, I can mount a union directly beneath the camera that I could use to alter the type of stabilizer as needed. The union allows me to attach additional accessories to the camera stabilizer frame and thereby alter the whole design. The Frugal Filmmaker design uses a long quarter-twenty screw with spring and jam nuts as the camera mount. With a cross-fitting, I was not able to do that. Instead, I used an inside plug the way the Frugal design does, but I switched to a short half-inch quarter-twenty screw that fits all the way inside the plug. This presented a problem with the screw not being held captive. My solution was a large rubber washer with a center hole one size smaller than the quarter-inch screw. This holds the screw captive when no camera is on the mount and makes it easy to mount a camera by placing a screwdriver inside the union and up through the cross. I used foam pipe insulation as hand grips, but I'm not entirely sold on this idea. I may yet remove them. I find them to be a little large in the hand and not necessarily of any benefit for holding. Since the human hand has a slight angle at the palm, I decided to tilt the side bars forward. In use, I find this to be pretty comfortable. To tilt the front frame, make the top bar a little longer than the bottom assembly. It makes the fittings tight to glue during assembly, but it can be done. In this photo, you can also see one of the optional configurations I built for the connection or the union at the bottom. This is a convenient stand, but it also serves as a ground level support for low shots, and I find it works well for resting the rig high on your shoulders during filming. The other option I built is a bottom weight that acts like the Stabicam commercial stabilizer. During testing, I found it was prone to pendulum swinging introduced by walking, so I'll be modifying it with a horizontal side handle to resemble other DIY Stabicam designs, such as the iron pipe stabilizer. Other options I'm considering include a shorter bottom weight and a monopod. I may also build a tripod mount adapter so that I can switch between a tripod and a stabilizer without dismounting the camera from the stabilizer. What follows next is some test videos. Good stabilizer work requires practice and supportive footwear, neither of which I had during filming. I expect the quality will improve over time. 